there. Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. I'm Nancy Drew. Sally McDonald said you might be able to help me. I like helping people. Of course, I like selling them stuff even better. But keep talking. I'm in town visiting her, you know, out at the old Malone place. Now what's she doing inviting guests out to that old dump? She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve, but right now I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? What I really need is for someone to come out and remove the tree that fell in Sally's driveway. I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Gotta warn you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? The ghost dog scared her off. I told her. I said, Sally, that old house is gonna be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Just when we all thought they were finally resting in peace. Have you ever seen the dogs? Nope. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howl's bad enough. Scares the bejeebies out of me. I got the bejeebies scared out of me twice last night. Just before I saw the dogs, I caught a man named Red Knot prowling around outside the house. The bird watcher. Comes in every so often to stock up on that weirdo food he eats. You know how them tree hugger types are. Has he been in the area long? About as long as those pink-billed warblers and purple-eyed owls he's always chasing have been around. Couple of months, I guess. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh, yeah. I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. What else can I do you for? I need to get the water from Sally's well tested. How would I go about doing that, do you know? Just get a water testing kit from the ranger station and follow the directions. Where's the ranger station? Just up lake from Sally's on the east side. These so-called ghost dogs left very real paw prints. I saw some near the cemetery that's by the Malone house. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Can't say as I have. Poking around cemeteries ain't exactly a hobby with me. Where do you find your... Uh, uh, Choo! Bless you. It's all the dust. Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. Some of those old bottles are beautiful. Where'd you get them? Found them. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be Party Central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the feds suddenly showing up, while well, everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. So it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. See, recovering objects from the lake bed is illegal. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. So thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Squeaky Wheel Acres? Jeff Acres, local park ranger. I keep telling him all this stuff washed up on shore. But does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me? Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. Jeff Acres could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Now, I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Acres, why, there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turn into one big, noisy, jam-packed state park. Does the name Waldo Mathias mean anything to you? Hmm, I can't say as it does. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. That's just it. I'm running kind of low on cash. Would it be possible to start a line of credit? My daddy always said, neither a borrower nor a lender be. But I'll tell you what, seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do. But Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Think I could get some from him? He's your only hope. But you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Guess I'll see you later. I guess you will.
Hello, can I help you? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting the woman who bought the old Malone place, Sally McDonald. Do you know her? Sally McDonald? Yes, I've had occasion to write her up once or twice. What do you mean, write her up? She littered. Food items, as I recall. An apple core, crust of bread, something like that. She tried to argue that the animals would eat them, but litter is litter. And besides, feeding the wildlife is also illegal. Sounds like you take your job very seriously. Being a park ranger can be a thankless job, Ms. Drew. But I know that every time I enforce a rule, I'm helping to preserve some plant or animal, however minute, for future generations of park goers. Do you have something I could use to test the well water at Sally's? Sure do. Simple to use, too. Just pump some water into this vial, return the sample to me, I'll send it off, and in a day or two, you'll find out whether or not your water's fit to drink. Does everyone out here have a well? <laughs> everyone who doesn't want to die of thirst does. Hooking up to a municipal water supply is out of the question. Too expensive. This place isn't exactly your ordinary ranger station, is it? It's also the Moon Lake Post Office, and it's the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. I've lived here all my life, so I can't help but feel obligated to protect not only the area's flora and fauna, but also its past. Which is apparently rather colorful. As a member of the law enforcement community, I prefer to dwell on the positive aspects of history instead of on the activities of a bunch of glorified thugs. So you'd probably like to see the old Malone place torn down and forgotten. Not necessarily. It's hard to ignore its potential as a tourist attraction. And if that's what it takes to draw more people to Moon Lake, hmm, I'm a reasonable man. What do you know about the pack of dogs that's been terrorizing Sally? They've scared her so bad that she's gone to her aunt's in Philadelphia. Don't tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. I saw them myself. Whatever's out there, I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Dogs. Living, breathing, very noisy dogs. Any idea what would make a dog's eyes glow yellow? Something in their diet, maybe? Some oddball vitamin or protein. Why do you think dogs would attack Sally's house? Dogs can be trained to do almost anything. Have you ever investigated the ghost dogs yourself? Do you always ask this many questions? Sorry, it's my nature. But would it be okay if I asked a few more? I'm a very busy man, Ms. Drew, but... <sighs> I am here to serve the public. What do you know about the cemetery behind the Malone house? People are buried there. Beyond that... What's to know? Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. Would it be okay if I looked around? Please do. And if you have any questions, any more questions, just ask. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. The deer mouse population has boomed this year, so please take precautions if you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty diseases. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Acres.
back I have that water sample what do I do with it just give it to me and I'll take care of it thanks for all your help that's why I'm here American Goldfinch. Northern Cardinal. Red-tailed Hawk. Western Tanager. Bye. 